dozens of bullet wounds counted on this horse here after someone shot him at close range with a bird shot round. Thankfully, he'll be OK. Well, News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with Iron Man's owners who say they want the shooter caught before it happens again. Um, if you were willing to do that to a defenseless animal, um, I can only imagine what you'd do to a human um, if, if you know you decided that was something that you wanted to do. So uh, very disturbing for me. It's been a few days now, but CJ Hudson Pillar is still trying to wrap his mind around why someone would shoot his horse. There's 28 pellets in there. They uh, counted as many as 40 spots that they think. You know what they said, 40, somewhere around in there? Hudson Pillar says on Saturday afternoon, he noticed swelling on the side of the barrel racing horse named Iron Man. Originally, he thought the wounds were bites from a horse fly. I was looking at them a little closer and I, I picked one of the scabs off of them and I could feel something in there. It almost felt like a, like a pimple, right? And I, I pushed on it and a BB popped out of the, the wound and that was when I realized that, okay, this is something much more serious. Than he knew his horse was shot likely with a shotgun using a birdshot round. Um, but they counted somewhere around f between 40 and 50 pellets in his side, and it starts from his, uh, basically his neck all the way down to his tail. Hudson Pillar says Iron Man and his other horses are in the pastures, which are fenced in. So he says this shooting was no accident. Awful. Right, uh, it makes you feel violated. Um, you know, it's this isn't a situation where the horse was wandering off on someone else's property. The the horse was here in his own pasture where he lives. The family is now installing a security camera system on their property. You move to the country, you have a farm because you want the peace and tranquility, and that peace was stolen from us. In Lebanon, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel Five. Thank you, Kelsey. The Department of Agriculture's Criminal Investigation Division is looking into this. In the meantime, an $8,000 reward is offered for any information that could lead to a prosecution.